Hi, I'm Janice, or Jazz, my friends like to call me. My last video was Osmo Mobile 3 Hints and Tips. If you haven't seen that one, click the link above. And while you're at it, like and subscribe uh, for any future videos. In this video, I'm going to show a comparison between using your mobile phone and its microphone, recording yourself on the Osmo Mobile 3, or using the external microphone, so I'm using the Rode Wireless Go, and show you the differences between the two and why it's useful to have an external microphone. So I'm recording this on a Lumix G85 over there with a Rode Video Mic Go mount on top of it. It's about eight feet away from me. It's not ideal. I'm in a very echoey classroom and it doesn't sound great. So a lot of people will want to bring the microphone closer to you. And not many of us have got camera setups so you can record yourself over there. That's where mobile phones come into their own. And you can step up your mobile phone game really well by using a gimbal. But the sound quality isn't, still isn't going to be great. So I'm using my iPhone 7. I've got it mounted on my gimbal and I can turn on active track and I'm just recording myself on my phone now and it's gonna follow me and I can speak to it and it sounds okay. It's still a bit echoey in here, but it will catch me quite well. So that's it using the iPhone 7, but I can improve that by using an external microphone. I've got my Rode Wireless Go mounted on my shirt here, and I've got it mounted on the back of the gimbal. So I'm gonna connect those and show you the difference. So I've now connected the Wireless Go to my phone, and I'm gonna press record on here, turn on my active tracking, and it's going to follow me and I can speak to my mobile phone, but this time it's not recording through my phone, it's recording to the, through the microphone on my shirt here. And it sounds, hopefully, a lot better. Okay, So that's its one big advantage. But also, this is at arm's length, and this mobile gimbal has got active tracking on it. So there's one big thing that I can do with this. So one huge advantage of the active tracking is it can follow you and record you as you're moving around. It's not got a great range on it, but you can have it a good distance away from you and that's superb. So you can take off your trusted little tripod and I've got a KNF light stand here with a bull head thread on the top. So I can just mount that just the same on there. Spin it around. I've now remounted my microphone to the gimbal so now that's the Rode Wireless Go recording me. So I've got that on my chest. So now I can step away from the gimbal. It can follow me around and use two hands to demonstrate things. And it's recording me from not a distance away. It's right next to me. So the sound quality should be noticeably different. But that's half the story. I'm inside an echoey classroom. This is one application, but this comes into its own when you're outdoors and you've got much louder environments. You've got things moving around and you've got the advantage that it does come with a little dead cap uh, so you can deaden down wind noise and lots of voice clicking, that sort of thing. So here are a few examples of me using this setup outdoors. So this is the sound test outdoors. I'm in a fairly open field, but I'm next to a quite a busy dual carriageway over there. So you can probably hear that in the background. But this is the iPhone 7 at arm's length and its internal microphone. So this is how that sounds. So this is a sound test with the Rode Wireless Go mounted on the gimbal. And I've got the gimbal at arm's length. And again, I've still got a fairly busy road over there. I'm in an open field, but this is what it sounds like with the microphone on me. And this is a sound test with the iPhone 7 mounted on the gimbal, but this time on a tripod. So I can move away from it and you can see how it sounds. And as I move away, it's the phone microphone trying to pick me up. I can move around using the active tracking should still be able to hear me but I wouldn't have thought it'd be thoroughly clear. So another test is I can move away from the camera quite a long distance let's see how far now the active tracking won't keep up with me over here if I move to the side I was still following him at the moment but it will lose me after a while but I can move a fair distance away and the microphone should still be able to pick me up nice and clearly so coming back the sound shouldn't change that much but it's a great microphone solution. So that's it. Hopefully that shows there's a huge advantage between using an external microphone when you're doing any kind of recording, be that indoors or outdoors, close to you or far away. So my recommendation of the Rode microphones, I've got the video mic go over there, I've got the Rode wireless go here. This comes in two variations. There's a white variation now as well, uh, useful for wedding shooters. 
It also comes with lav mics, you can get those in several different colours, and there's even a microphone handle for doing interviews. It's a very versatile little system. This isn't a paid video, there's Amazon links in the description below. This is all the equipment that I use on a daily basis. And the Rode microphones, as far as I'm concerned, are the best bangs for the buck that you can get. The video mic go over there, mounted on my camera, is superb. And the Wireless Go is a brilliant system for using on mobile phones or for using on a camera. Um, but, but bear in mind, if you're using one or the other, if you're using it on a mobile phone, you need a different cable. You need the SC7 cable to mount to a mobile phone. It's a different connection to on a camera. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe, hit the bell notification for further videos on hints and tips and general photography. I'm Jay and I'll see you next time.